Kuidas jau kohe kohe, et sagas meil ütles, et nagu kenjantud, nagu hakkab ka haage kenjantud, et nagu kõnes seda aadi, nagu enne kõnjad. Nii ole aadi, siis siin meie kõrgi ka vaare, nii ole aadi, kui meie kõrgis taha on kutsa. Nii ole aadi, siis siin meie kõrgi ka vaare, nii ole aadi, kui meie kõrgi ka vaare. So I can basically introduce myself. My language and part of plan from the community of Tanzkatagi, which is 62 kilometers northwest of Montreal. And um, I uh, greet, greet you all, uh, the creator and uh, Mother Earth and all other nations. Um, I work in the Kanastagi Language and Cultural Center. Uh, I work with the speakers who have been working at this for a long time. Uh, we did actually get a project from the NIB for uh, recruitment of new speakers. We speak the oldest dialect of uh, Kanyagana. And um, the problems that we have is it's project funding, it's not recurring. And um, if the government of Canada is really serious about reconciliation, then we need to be able to have the kinds of resources based on the needs of the community to be able to create the curriculum for the children, the youth, and the adults. Children will not be speaking the language if they don't hear it at home, they don't see it the importance of it at home. But our speakers are getting older, they're getting higher. And in order to revitalize a language, we need to perpetuate it. In order to perpetuate it, they need to, everybody needs to be immersed in that language. It's not enough to have, you know, be able to play bingo in your language. We need to be able to have a lot more. Um, and so when I, I hear, like, I really like the, the presentation um, and, and the, the thing about the, uh, what is it, Vulcan, because it is that the language connects us to that, that past. And if we're talking about overcoming all the dysfunctions we have in our community, we cannot rely on the government of Canada to be able to help us. All we need from them is the, 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 the financial resources to be able to do it on our own terms the financial resources to be able to pay the people to come to the classes, to take a year off work so they can learn their classes, they can learn their language. Because people need to work, you know, and we're, 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 not, we're not helping if we're just doing it by what, what colors there are. Where is the direction? Um, it's important to, to speak as much as you can about your language. But the communities need the money. Not a national organization, not another task force. Like, like uh, the chief said, we've been researched to death. We know what we need to do. We just don't have the resources to be able to do it. And if we're really serious about learning our languages, if we're really serious about doing it, we're gonna demand from the government of Canada, the government they owe us for all the, the resources that they've taken from, the royalties and resources they've taken from, not just the natural parks, but the resources that they're taking from us still. Um, I heard a lot of nice words. I heard a lot of double speak. I am I am very I'm a cynical person because in the last 26 years in my community we didn't resolve the land issue, and, and we faced the most number of troops sent to an indigenous community in the history of colonization in the Americas. And we still haven't resolved anything. So we have a representative here from Canadian Heritage. I'd like to see the minister come here and listen to the way people are, the kind of needs that we have. We don't want to hear nice flowery speeches. We need the money to go to the communities, to the people who are actually doing the work on the language and have them here. They're the experts. And you as the, the elected leadership, you should be supporting the work of those people. You shouldn't be telling them what they're going to be doing. If you love your language, if you love your ancestors, if you are proud of your history and your language, you will support the people on the ground who are working in the languages and not get in their way. And I, and I mean this with, with all most respect because this is the kind of reality our languages are facing today. We need to get up off our seats and really support the languages. Not just put it on words or nice flowery speeches. Because those elders who have tried all these years to, to revitalize and perpetuate our languages, they need our love and help and support and appreciation.
for what they have been doing for us. It's not the government of Canada that needs to appreciate them. It's our own communities, and we need to give back to those people who have allowed us. If you don't speak your language, who are you? So I say that with the most respect, and I hope that we're going to make changes. If this isn't an opportunity, then it's our choice to make what kind of opportunity this is going to be, not the government of Canada. So to all my relations, I wish you all success. And y'all for speaking in your language and all the languages that I'm hearing. Y'all go for all of you who are working on the language and for allowing us.